Then they had the MJF, uh, well, not MJF, but the Adam Cole package with Roddy and about the MJF situation, but Roddy and Taven and Bennett calling uh, Adam Cole to Roddy's house, whatever the fuck, and they they didn't play the audio. They There was the faint audio bleeding from the arena microphone or sound, but you couldn't tell what anybody was saying. And, the, and it was it was long, and nobody bothered to stop it or do anything about it. And honestly, as I noted from the looks of the video of the video, it was a gift from the wrestling gods that we couldn't hear what they were saying. Because I figured, and rightfully so, as I'll get to in a minute, it was going to completely bury all the talent involved as being preliminary fucking jack-offs. So... That was that. And, and I, 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 would you like to comment on anything you didn't hear? I'll comment on it because I didn't watch the segment when it came back because I saw enough that I couldn't hear it and know that I didn't want to see any more of it. And I certainly didn't want to see it a second time. That was my chance to go check out what was going on in the Phillies game. But it's this Nickelodeon brand of humor. <sighs> to me, the biggest heel in AEW is whoever is working with MJF and Adam Cole and all these guys on these little comedy videos. And shooting those videos. Whoever's shooting them because there's a certain style to them that's really over the top, making the bad on top of the actual acting. I like that Roddy Strong was getting a character. Now he's become a Nickelodeon show character. Yeah. Adam it's Cole. It's just childish. I don't take Adam Cole seriously as an adult. I'm sorry, I don't. And I hate all this stuff. At you least can't. He's done it to himself. And again, I thought I got out of it because I said, okay, I don't have to watch these grown adults. I think they're all, maybe Adam Cole's a little younger, but they're all like in their mid to late thirties. I would think I have to go watch them act like they're teenagers, not even teenage. I didn't act like that as a teenager. I don't know anyone who did. It's stupidity. Why does it's wrestling need bad comedy? None of these guys can do comedy. They all want to do comedy. Well, we can't even call this bad comedy because it's not, it's just, it's bad acting, it's bad overacting, it's ridiculously phony and, and trivializing talent that can perform and make an, a, the entire television program from start to finish look like a goddamn shit show. It, 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 and there's no reason for it. And these people are involved with the world champion, MJF. Or at least they have been. Hopefully they won't be anymore. Because it'll just further fucking bury him and he's not needing any help these days. Even with the audio issues, as soon as you hear Roddy Strong yell at him, the way he's yelling his name, it's not getting the right kind of heat. It's getting the, whoa, stop doing this already. Yeah, that because kind of if, if, if for you to feel any sympathy for Adam in the situation he's being put in, it would have to be believable enough that Adam could be somehow convinced by it, and this is just completely hokey bullshit that they're all just jacking off together on. There's no way around seeing that. And there's no way we're not going to get more of it if Adam Cole can't wrestle for a while. This is all we're going to get. <clears throat> well, if we get this for however long he's out, by the time he comes back, he might as well not bother, because people will literally throw rotten tomatoes at him. To have to watch this for months? Should they anyway, should they sell Rotten Tomatoes at the merch stand? They'd make more money. Be a good business. And then they come back to the announcers who apologize for the audio issue on TBS's part. They had to get that in. And they play this fucking thing again. And now the premise is... Adam Cole is visiting Roddy's house, but he's on crutches. He's saying throughout the piece, literally, he's got to go get surgery. Like, he's on his way to go get surgery on his, <laughs> his ankle, but he stopped by Roddy's house because Roddy asked for him. And Roddy is in a wheelchair and a neck brace and a hospital gown, and there's Taven and Bennett there. So they've taken four of my formerly favorite talents and Adam did it to himself first. But now I don't, I don't want to see Roddy anymore. I don't want to see Taven and Bennett. 
they'll never be taken seriously as top main event guys. So why am I, I don't even care now. And I'm, I'm ashamed and embarrassed of them like they should be for taking part in this thing. So fuck them all basically. But anyway, they got it. Roddy got Adam Cole, one of those wheelie bikes said he could prop his bad leg up in. And then they had slow-mo shots with cheesy music of them rolling around the house together. And then Roddy tells Adam, but I brought you over here because I need you to help me move some furniture. Even though Taven and Bennett are able-bodied, they can't do it because they don't have any taste. So they did more slow-mo shots with Cole making ridiculous faces accompanied by really bad music of him straining to lift the furniture while he has one leg. And this is, it's the furthest thing from any good. I wrote disgusting, actually. And, and then he said, okay, I got to go get surgery now. And is he leaving? Oh, Adam. And uh, if this even, I would have been, if I was one of those guys standing there in the middle of that, I would have had the a presence of mind, the self-awareness to realize that this was not only the shits and something that nobody would ever want to see, but it was ruining my wrestling career and making people not want to watch the fucking wrestling business anymore. That's how bad this was. And they should be ashamed of themselves. And I, I and again, it is wasting talent. Roddy ain't going to be the AEW champion, but he's a hell of a worker. And Taven and Bennett could have been a quality heel team that didn't look like goddamn Kyle fucking Fletcher and Mark fucking McGee or whatever his name is. Davis? And these indie fucking darlings that don't have a goddamn clue what they're doing. <sighs> There's a new Taven and Bennett shirt that I saw that someone put in a Cult of Cornet Facebook group that AEW is selling. It says, punch him in the wiener, hit him with a pile driver. Oh, good God. And someone's supposed to buy that and wear that somewhere. This is all so bad. Like I said, the real enemy is the guy filming and editing this and directing it. That's the enemy here because it's someone who wants to do something else, but they're applying that to wrestling and it's producing awful TV. But the people involved, the people involved, Roderick Strong has been around the business for a while. Adam Cole's been around the business for a while. They were in Ring of Honor when we tried to do shit right. They know the difference between right and wrong. Taven and Bennett, they've got talent. But nobody cares anymore about any of it now. Somebody should have said, you know, whoa, take me out of this fucking thing. What are we doing here? It's fucking ridiculous that they would go along with this. And everybody else just does what they want. That's the problem. They're so fucked up by the fucking goddamn insanity that has gripped this company that they think this is good and they want to do it. They've all given up on ever going to the WWE because this shit will fight this shit. This bad will follow you. People will be clipping shit like this on the internet for years, making fun of these motherfuckers. Well, I think that may be part of it. Um, I think first of all, these people all like what they're doing. So you can talk about their sensibilities when it comes to wrestling or even comedy or whatever it may be. But Roddy's been in WWE. Adam was in WWE. I think they're not looking at going back. I think they're looking at like, this is the end road I'm for I'm talking to Taven and Bennett. At one point, they, especially Taven, looked great when he had hair and was a young man. But, I... but he's not, to my point, they're not young men anymore. This is after a lifetime of But looking... here's the thing. If you can do something well, and somebody pays you a lot of money, but says, do what you do well, but do it shitty, on purpose, make fun of your talent, make fun of your business, shit all over it, and do a rotten job. Can you really bring yourself to, why? 
Why? I, I think the problem is some people may not recognize how bad bad shit is because they're a part of it. Well, anyway, 